Hello and welcome to another video about funny creations that the world does not need. But anyway, the idea for the ride you will see in this video was so tempting to me that I absolutely had to try it out. I love building rides for kids from Infento parts like this one here. With a reasonable stock of Infento parts, there are countless possibilities. Now here is the story. This yellow something to push with two brushes is a sweeper from the German company Kercher. It cleans the walkway from dirt and leaves in such a satisfying way that my six-year-old son couldn't get enough of it. It works without electric power. Its two wheels are driving the two brushes on the front over small belts so that the dirt is brushed into the middle. A third brush that is mounted transverse and further back whirls the dirt upwards and forwards into a small container. A small swivel caster at the front makes a three-wheeler complete. A ride to push this sweeper was a challenge to build, but the reasons may not be as obvious. Reason number one is the fact that we need a linkage between the ride and the sweeper that can compensate angles in roll and pitch, as well as differences in height. This is because the street is not always perfectly flat and with a rigid linkage we would put too much load from the right onto the sweeper. Reason number two is the fact that we need a steering. Both of our vehicles, the sweeper and the Infanto ride, are three-wheelers. While steering, we cannot push the wheels sideways over the ground because this would go too hard. We cannot place the steering axis where we want, but it has to be right in the middle of the two main wheels of the sweeper. On an earlier version, I used the belt steering and swivel wheels in the front of the Infanto ride to prevent overdetermination. The sweeper's wheels alone were supposed to determine the direction to go, but this worked rather poor. The sweeper wheels just didn't bring enough load onto the ground. When the ride was supposed to drive a turn, the sweeper started to slide sideways. So I needed a steerable front wheel on the Infanto ride as addition to the steerable sweeper. But the steering angle of this front wheel and the sweeper had to be differently. The sweeper has to make a sharper turn. I solved that with a pushrod steering that uses a shorter steering arm for the sweeper than for the front wheel of the Infanto ride. Reason number three is the fact that the sweeper doesn't work at all if it is only pushed forward. It is crucial that it is also pushed downwards, what you do automatically when you push it by hand. The wheels that drive the brushes require some pressure to the ground or they will just slide. The tiny mass of the sweeper is by far not enough to bring up the required pressure. The solution to this issue is the direction of this linkage that is made of two bearing blocks. This linkage is pointing down by a similar angle as the push bar of the sweeper. As the Infanto ride pushes the sweeper forward, a decent fraction of the force pushes the sweeper's wheel down to the ground. This prevents wheel slip very effectively. If you think about replicating this ride, you will appreciate that you will need no 3D printed parts nor any modifications on the sweeper. I used the original holes of the Kercher pushbar, the standard Infanto rubber straps and two cable ties to connect the two systems. To summarize. This sweeper may only be a small ride and its main function is solved not by myself but by Kercher. Anyway, motorizing it left enough challenges for me. 
And well, as the saying goes, all that glitters ain't gold and I want to be fair with you. The sweeper coped basically well with a moderate amount of dirt. But we also used it in autumn when the defoliation was in full progress. And when it came to bigger amounts of leaves, the rear brush got clogged fast and the 16 liter container was way too small. I believe now there are more suitable appliances to collect leaves. Like this one from Gardena. But the saying goes also, the path is the goal. And if that's true, I have reached the second of my two goals. Braining about technical solutions and building them keeps the mind fresh. And if I was ever able to inspire you with my builds, I have also reached my first goal. Thank you for watching.